Today we're going to talk about a new device, the knotless clavicle plate tightrope. And you can see it here. We've had this developed more for the trauma surgeons and the guys who are uh, dealing with 2B fractures that don't want to get involved with arthroscopy of the shoulder to pass their devices. And uh, this makes it quick and simple and bases it off of a trauma approach, kind of like the old Bosworth screw, but with a modern day sports medicine take on it. Okay, so we can see here we've got a cadaver shoulder and we've gone ahead and taken the liberty of placing a distal clavicle plate with just a couple of provisional screws. And what I wanted to show you was the setup here Typically what I'll do is do this case in the beach chair position and I'll bring the large fluoro machine in and I'll step inside the fluoro circle. So I'll stand here inside the arm and I'll fluoro from front to back. It only takes a few quick spot views so if you're worried about dramatic amounts of exposure uh, it's really not going to happen in this case because it's a fairly simple way of fixing these types of fractures. So what we'll do is line up the fluoro, get a good shot of the clavicle and the core cord relationship which is usually distorted a bit from the fracture. And then we'll line up where our drill pin's gonna go when it comes through the drill hole. So we've lined up the plate so that our drill hole is directly over the coracoid. And we're gonna put it in one of the oblong holes right there. This procedure bases everything off of the fact that we're at heart we're all trauma surgeons and we've all drilled bicortically into tenuous areas. Uh, and with care, we can avoid injuring the neurovascular structures. So what we're going to do is drill bicortically through the clavicle, and then we'll palpate the coracoid below us, and then drill bicortically through that. Now we're coming through the coracoid, one cortex, and then the second cortex right there. as you can see nicely. Now our device here is rather simple. Distally we have an angled button with a knotless tightrope woven through it. Up top we have a handle and inserter. The button is held on by a threaded pin and up top we have our plate button that will nestle into the eyelet of the plate. So we're going to start to place our button now. On floor we can see we've gone through the clavicle and entered the, cor the coracoid. Now as we pass it down now we're passing through this, the coracoid. There we've passed through the coracoid. And now we can release our button. Unscrew the threads, take out the pin. Remove the red grommet that protects the sutures. We can take the button out of its little holder, undo the sutures, and now we can remove our handle. If we look inside the shoulder, we can see that the button has deployed nicely under the coracoid. And now it's really just a matter of cinching up our tightrope, which is pretty standard for all of us. And you can see how nicely that nestles down into the clavicle plate. And the final view shows the knotless clavicle plate tightrope that's been deployed. It just takes a few minutes to do. Some folks like to back it up with a half hitch or two but you don't really have to given the studies that have been done on the tight ropes. That's personal preference. Simply cut those sutures short and you're done with the deployment of that anchor. So here we have a nice clean trauma approach to 2B distal clavicle fractures where the ligaments have been torn that allows you to get a nice flexible fixation between your plate and the coracoid distally. It's simple, it's easy, it's reproducible, and with the basic trauma skills that we all have can be done in a safe fashion.